So good morning students. So we'll continue the capacitor chapter. So in that we will see one more very important expression today. So that is redistribution of the charges. So what is here? If we have one capacitor, let us consider a capacitor. Its capacitance is C1. We have charged it in such a way that its potential difference becomes V1. Its potential difference is V1. Okay. Another capacitor we have, which is C2, its capacitance is C2. We have maintained a potential difference of V2 on this. So these are the two capacitors. So this is this end is let us consider it is a positive. This end is a negative. This end is a positive, whereas this end is a negative. So they are charged separately. So that a potential of V1 is given on it and a charge Q1 is stored on it. Whereas by storing a charge Q2 on this, a potential of V2 we have maintained on this. So now these two capacitors are joined together. If these two are joint, so among these two, one has more potential and other has less potential. There is a potential difference between 
these two capacitors. We have not connected, you can see, we are not connected any battery, anything. So this is individually charged and this also individually charged. Okay. So because of this, what happens? If Q1 is the charge stored on this, Q2 is the charge stored on this, potential here is V1, here is V2, which has got a more potential. The charge itself starts to flow from higher potential capacitor to lower potential capacitor, the charges starts to flow. So to what extent? Till the potential of these two becomes equal. Till the potential of both the, both the capacitors becomes equal. To that extent, it goes on Charge, it goes on, the charges starts to flow from one capacitor to another capacitor. Till they attain a common potential, say V is the common potential that it attain. Okay. Till they attain the common potential, charges starts to charges will continue, charges will continue to flow. Okay. So, if, as I say, if Q1 is the initial charge on it and Q2 is the initial charge on this, the charges are flowing. From law of conservation of charges, from law of Conservation of the charges. So what I can write? This is Q1 plus Q2. The net charge on the capacitor before connecting, before connecting Q1 plus Q2, Q1 charges were stored on this and Q2 charges were stored on this. So, after connecting this wire, what happens there? So, charges may flow from here to here, from higher potential to lower potential, the charges may flow. But the total number of charges in the system remain constant. Total number of charges remain constant. In the sense, if total number of the charges, if it is Q, after, if it is total number of charges, after, if it is Q, after connecting these wires, so total charges is Q. So initially, what we have Q1 plus Q2. Okay, followed from the law of conservation of charges, charges may flow from one to other, but the net charge, the total charge of the system. Before connecting this wire and after connecting this wire should be same. If a total charge on this is Q, on the system is Q, after connecting the wire is also it is Q, after connecting, before it was Q, after connecting is also Q. So that, that Q is equal to Q1 plus Q. So since these two capacitors, what we now C1 plus C2, the capacitance of these two is a C1 plus C2 into they have attained a 
common potential of V. Q, I can write it as Q. I can write it as C1 plus C2 into V. Whereas here, Q1, what is Q1? I can write it as it is a C1 V1. Plus Q2, what I can write? It is a C2 V2. C2 V2. So V is the common potential it has attained. Or in other way, I can say it as after as soon as if I connect these wires, say Q1 dash is the charge on first and Q2 dash is charge on the second because redistribution of the charges takes place. But Q1 dash what is here? It is C1 into V plus C2 into V because after this they have attained a common potential both has got a same potential though the capacitance of us it is C1 after connecting this it is it is capacitance is C1 whereas potential is V capacitance is C2 potential is V the net charge before and after they are same net charge before the connecting wire after the connecting wire from law of conservation of charges it remains same so I can write it as C1 plus C2 into V is equal to C1 V1 plus C2 V2. So what is the common potential that it attained? It is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole divided by it is a C1 plus C2. So this is the common potential the two capacitors will attain after the connection of these two wires in the sense after the redistribution of the charges. So what happens a common potential of V they will attain which is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. So this is the common potential it will attain. See in this what we have done, all the positive charges, the positive rate of uh, this capacitor C1 is connected to positive rate of this. Because of that we get this expression common potential what it attain is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. Instead of in this way. If these are positive and we are connecting it to negative. So this becomes the same. If it is so, positive rate of the capacitor is connected to negative plate of the capacitor. 
okay so how the common potential you can see there you can derive in the same way so common potential that it attain is so which among these i am writing it your difference difference between these two in the sense so which value among these two is more so that we will write it first if c1 v1 is more c1 v1 minus c2 v2 if c2 v2 is more then we write c2 v2 minus c1 v1 if the positive plate of the capacitor is connected to negative plate of the other capacitor if it is so the redistribution of the charges takes place and the two capacitors attain a common potential c1 v1 difference c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 among these two so which has more value that we have to write first then the other one we have to subtract here so because of this redistribution of the charges from one capacitor to other capacitor as soon as we connect a wire the redistribution of the charges takes place okay so because of this redistribution there is a loss in energy so we will find out an expression for the loss in energy because of a redistribution of the charges loss in energy so that we will find out loss in energy because of this uh, redistribution there is a loss in energy so what is the loss in energy that we will find out so initially ui initial potential energy of the system what it is 1 by 2 c1 v1 square 1 by 2 c1 v1 square is the energy of the first capacitor as soon as as soon as v charge it charge the first plate it has capacitance of c1 and potential of v1 it will attain so because of that what is the energy of this so there is a other capacitor c2 its capacitance is c2 a potential difference of v2 is maintained there so that also will have some energy what is 1 by 2 c2 v2 square so if i consider this as a system initial energy of this system in the sense before redistribution what is the initial energy of the system it is 1 by 2 c1 v1 square plus 1 by 2 c2 v2 square yes what is if i consider this as a system in this system 
The energy stored in the first capacitor is 1 by 2 C1 V1 square. Energy stored in the second capacitor is 1 by 2 C2 V2 square. So that the net energy of that system is 1 by 2 C1 V1 square plus 1 by 2 C2 V2 square. So next up, if I connect the wire here between these two. So what happens there? The redistribution of the energy takes place. The redistribution of the charges takes place. So in the sense, charges from one starts to flow to the other. So that the system attains a common potential of V. It will attain a common potential of V. So that what is the final? It is 1 by 2 C1 plus C2 Capacitor is C1 plus C2 or even you can write it in this way. It is a C1 It is C1 V square plus 1 by 2 C2 V square. They have attained a potential of C1 V square plus C2 V square. So that I can write this as 1 by 2. It is C1 plus C2 into so I have to find out now what is the loss in the energy. Loss in energy. What is the loss in the difference of these? If I find, so we will get. So this loss in energy, it is UF minus UI. So UF minus it is one by two. C1 plus C2 into V square minus 1 by 2 C1 V1 square plus 1 by 2 C2 V2 square. So this will be so 1 by 2 I will take common. So this will be C1 plus C2 into, so here I will write common potential, expression for the common potential, what it is, V is equal to this, now we have found C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus It is what is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. This half hour already I have taken. So it will be here. Half already I have taken out. So minus. C1 V1 square plus C2 V2 square. It will be so 
So it's a square here, v square, it is c1 plus c2, c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 whole square. Since I have taken already this half outside, so this negative sign. Okay, so this will be 1 by 2. So here, so this is C1 plus C2 here. It is C1 plus C2 whole square here. So if we cancel this, what is left out here? C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole square. One of the C1 plus C2 is cancelled with the, this C1. So it will be C1 plus C2 minus C1 V1 square minus C2. So here, I write it as delta u, delta u, half already I have taken out, so it is 1 by 2, if you take LCM here, it is C1 V1, plus C2 V2 whole square it is minus C1 V1 square into C1 plus C2 minus this I write this side So it is then C1 V1 plus C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole square. This is C1 plus C2 is our LCM here minus C1, it is V1 square into C1 plus C2 minus. C1, this is C2, V2 square, C1 plus C2. So this is, if I take 1 by 2 into C1 plus C2. What is here? It is a C1 square V1 square plus C2 square V2 square. So since it is like A plus B, so 2 C1 C2 into V1. So this uh, we have to, what is C1 and it is this, this C1, C1 into C1 plus, so this will be minus, it is C1 square, C1 into C1 into V1 square. So next is minus, minus, let us write here. Minus 
सी वन सी टू दिस इज सी वन इंटू सी टू बी वन स्क्वायर माइनस सी वन सी टू वी टू स्क्वायर देन माइनस सी टू स्क्वायर इंटू वी टू स्क्वायर इन साइड द ब्रैकेट और सो वट इज हियर दिस प्लस सी वन v1 square minus c1 v1 square get cancels so c2 v2 square so this will get cancels so it is 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 what is here 2 into C1, C2 into V1, V2. This one minus C1, C2, V1 square minus C1, one C2, V2 square. So C1, C2 is common from all these. So what I do? C1, C2 divided by two times of C1 plus C2. What is left out inside? It is two V1, V2 minus V1 square minus V2 square. okay if you take so this negative sign outside what it is minus c1 c2 divided by 2 times of c1 plus c2 it is v1 square plus v2 square minus 2 v1 So I will write it as minus of one by two c one c two divided by c one plus c two into so what it will be? This is v one v one square plus v two square minus two p one v two. So I can write it as v one minus v two. So this is our expression for the difference in the potential. What is the loss in the energy? One by two. It is C one C two divided by C one plus C two into V one minus V two. So this negative sign shows that the final final potential energy is lesser than this initial. Initial is more, the final is less. In a sense, there is a loss there. It is showing that there is a loss. That minus one by two c one c two divided by c one plus c two v one v two whole square. So this negative sign shows that there is a loss in the energy there. Okay. So what is the loss? One by two c one c two divided by c one plus c two into v one minus v two. So whenever we connect it in this way, definitely in such cases 
there will be loss of energy. So what expression we got? So loss in energy is it is the negative sign shows that it is the final is lesser than that. So when we are writing it as loss, so directly I can write it as now 1 by 2 C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2 into it is v1 minus v2 also. So this is our loss in energy. When it is when the positive terminal of the capacitor which is of c1 v1 hmm, is connected to positive of this other capacitor whose capacitance is C2 and potential is V2. Okay, if positive plate of this is connected to positive plate of this, if it is an another way, if positive plate of it is connected to negative and so this negative is connected to positive plate like this. So during that time, so this, for this, if it is so, how the loss in energy, this loss in energy will be V1 plus so V2 whole square. If, a, if a positive plate of the capacitor is connected to negative plate of it, if it is so, so then it is 1 by 2 C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2 v1 plus v2 whole square if positive plate is connected to negative plate so if it is so otherwise if a positive is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative so we get it, it as v1 minus v2 whole square as we have derived here we get v1 minus v2 last it energy will be here this and this whole thing v1 minus v2 
So now we will move to the numerical sections. So here in the capacitance, in the capacitor, this grouping of a capacitor in a different way, just we have seen what is the effective capacitance of the capacitor when they are connected in a series and when they are connected in a parallel, we have seen, which is very, very simple. There will be many such complex combinations will be there. So such com complex combinations, how to solve them? So that we will see by solving different questions here. So this, uh, this solving this mixing to find the equivalent capacitance of this mixing group. So you have to solve more and more numericals. Then only you will get the idea of whether the given combination is in series or parallel or in other. So if you go on solving, then only you will get more and more problems, more and more numericals you have to solve. Such many questions we will solve here. But at the beginning, so we have for series combination, for series combination what we have? If this is one capacitor, this is other capacitor, this is third capacitor, it is of a C1, C2 and C3. So what we have? The one capacitor, one end of the one capacitor is connected to this. As I said, so these plates are not connected directly to the cell. Only the extreme, the extreme plates, only the extreme plates are connected to the battery. In between capacitors, in between plates of the capacitors are not connected to the battery. So if it is so, so then we have said its capacitance is 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Okay, if just two capacitors are there, it is 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So that itself, if just two capacitors are there, it is Cs is equal to, it is C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. If the two capacitors are of equal capacitance, then Cs is equal to, already we have seen equal capacitance, it will be C by 2. If there are n number of equal capacitors, then we are writing it as C by n. We are writing it as C by n. So these are the things we have seen in the case of a series. So similarly, in parallel, so this is C1, this is C2, this is C3. So all these capacitors are individually, see this plate is connected to positive terminal, this plate is connected to negative terminal of the battery, this plate is connected to positive terminal, this plate is connected to negative terminal, same thing we are seeing here also. So each and every capacitor here they are in contact with the battery. Each and every plate of the capacitor is in contact with the battery. So if it is so, we have said it is 
parallel. So CP is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Okay, so that's what uh, we have seen here. So in such a series combination, so there will be different types of uh, combinations will come. So here, of course, these are in series. If uh, any wire, any conductor comes in between these two. If it comes like this, in between those two, so everything is same. Everything is like the series only. What it is? One wire we are connecting in between. So that there will be a capacitor or something like this, if it is so. So then, these two capacitors, if I, if I say this has C1 and this is a C2, these two capacitors, now they are not in series. You remember this. Any such conductor, either this side or from this side, any conductor, if it is, if it get a branch here, if it get a branch here, then these two capacitors will not be in series now. So this is one important thing what you can see here. Other thing is in a parallel this is C1 and this is C2. Of course it is like this. And this is connected to battery. So I can say this is now they are in parallel. If I connect, they are in parallel now. C1, C2 are in parallel. If I connect one capacitor in between these two, say a capacitor C3 is connected here in between these two. So then so this capacitor, this plate of the capacitor C1 is not directly in contact with the, with this. So therefore, no more these two capacitors are in a parallel now. How it will be? C1, C3 and series. You find the effective capacitance of this. Then effective capacitance of C1 and C3 is in a parallel with the C2. So, such things we will see now. Such so, so different combinations we will see. So, remember that it appears as a, it is a series only, but if any branch comes in there, so then no more this C1, C2 are in series now. So, C1 and C2 appears here, they are parallel, but if C3 comes there, so then no more it is a parallel because this plate is connected to battery but the other plate of C1 is not directly connected to the battery. So in between this C3 is there. So that is why C1 and C2 will not be in a parallel. Just remember these two. So as you go on solving more number of such numericals, so you will come to know how they are, whether they are connected in the series, parallel, those things. So we will start with the simple examples, then we will move to the different complicated examples. So first with the simple example. If I have C 
so this is to terminal a this is to terminal b so here it is 3c 6c 9c 18c so instead of uh, taking some 3 into 3 microfarad or 3 into 1, 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6, all those things while calculating it. So, so to make it simple, instead of that microfarad, all those things, just I am using these things. C. You may get it as 3 microfarad, 6 microfarad, 9 microfarad, 18 microfarad, like this, their capacitance. So while calculation, to make it simple, just I have taken it as 3C, 6C, 9C, 18C. Throughout my explanation, I will take it like this. So in your exams, it may be like a 3 microfarad, in the sense 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farad it is. So 6 microfarad, 6 into 10 to the power of minus. So such things you will get. To make it simple, just have taken in this way. So what you are observing, these are A and B terminal. What does it mean? A cell is connected across this. They won't give you in the diagram, always they won't give. So, if there is a cell like this, find the equivalent capacitance between the terminals A and B. That's what they will ask. Find the equivalent capacitance between A and B. So, it is as if a cell is connected between the, these two terminals A and B. You should, you should understand it as a a and SL is connected across A and B. Because of that, these capacitors are charged. Its capacitance is 3C, its capacitance 6C, 9C and 8C. So what we have to do in such a case? What we are observing? It is a simple example. These two capacitors are, they are in series. These two capacitors are also in series. So, we can find the equivalent capacitance of these two. So, what it will be? Equivalent capacitance of these. What it will be? Shortcut I say. It is Cs is equal to C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. What is C1? It is 3C into 6C divided by so 3C plus 6C. So this will be so, I will take 3C and 6C as it is, it will be, it is 3C plus 6C is 9C. So, this C and this C get cancels. So, it will be. The equivalent capacitance of these two combination equivalent capacitance of these two combination so e is 2c okay next these two capacitors what is that equivalent capacitance of these two capacitors, these two are also in a series. So what it will be? 
Once again, we will find out in the same way. It is a 9C and 18C. So CS is equal to that since they are in series, it is a 9C into 18C divided by 9C plus 18C. It is 9C into 18C, 4 divided by 27. So what happens? This is C and this C get cancels. So it will be 6C. So the combination, the series combination of these two is it is our 6C. So therefore, so we can write it as 6C. Okay. So this term is A and this term is our So it is a 2C and a 6C. Combination of these two, series combination of these two is a 2C. Series combination of these two is a 6C. Now what these are? These two are in parallel. These two are in parallel. So what will be the effective capacitance when they are connected in a parallel? So Cp is equal to, it is C1 plus C2. If I take this as C1 and this as C2, it is 2C plus 6C. In the sense, it is. Yes. So, parallel combination of these two. In the sense, effective capacitance of these two is our AC. In the sense, when all these are, these two are in series, these two are in series. I have found the effective capacitance of this. I have found the effective capacitance of this. So then the, the two capacitors, these two are in parallel. Effective capacitance of this is our 8C. So effective capacitance of these two, when they are connected in parallel, you can see simple it is, and they are in parallel because both the plates are connected to our battery. That is why these two are in parallel. You can write it as its so equivalent will come out as its. So next is what it is one capacitor, second capacitor, third capacitor. So here we will change here. It will be like this. So this is our terminal A, whereas this is terminal B. Its capacitance is 8C. It is 12C. It is a 24C, whereas here it is 8C and this is 4C. 
so they are asking us to find out equivalent capacitance of this as i said equivalent capacitance between a and b means they have connected a battery across this they have connected battery across this of course these are in series a and c if i say this has a first capacitor second capacitor third capacitor this is a fourth capacitor and this is fifth capacitor so 1 2 3 are in a series what about 4 and 5 this 4 and 5 are in parallel this 4 and 5 are in parallel okay so first the parallel combination of these two we have to find out whereas its effective once again it will be in series with all these so because of that the what is the effective capacitance of these two since they are in parallel first we will find out that the effective capacitance of these two so it is ac 4c in parallel it is c1 plus c2 in a parallel if they are just it is c1 plus c2 in the sense we are adding 8c plus 4c in the sense this will be 12c so instead of these two what we are doing i am writing this as 12c because the effective capacitance of these two is 12c whereas this is a 24c it is a 12c this is 8c this is our first capacitor second capacitor third capacitor it is equivalent of 4 and 5 it is equivalent of 4 and 5 so they are connected across a and b you can see the extreme plates are only in contact with the cell whereas in between plates are not in contact directly in contact with the cell therefore these are in series these are in series in the sense 1 by cs is equal to 1 by it is 8c plus 1 by 12c plus 1 by 24c plus 1 by Plus, if we take LCM here, twenty-four, twenty-four C, so what it will be at this point? So three plus two plus one. Plus two. This is eight by twenty-four C. One by C S is equal to eight by. So eight by twenty-four C. This implies C S is equal to it is three C. The effective capacitance of all these is equal to 3C. So first, the parallel which is there, we have found the equivalent capacitance of these two. We have found it has come out as a 12C. So 
then all these are in series. So its effective capacitance we have found in series means 1 by Cs is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 like this. So we have found that the capacitance, equivalent capacitance of this as a CS is equal to C. So now we will move to the next question. So it is uh, like structure A So what we have here one capacitor this is 3C this is uh, 6C, this is a 12C, this is a 24C, so whereas here it is So this is A, terminal A and this is our terminal B. So it is as if we have connected a battery here. So little difficult compared to the other two. So what it is here? We will say this as one. This has a second capacitor, third capacitor, fourth capacitor, and this is our fifth capacitor. So this first and second are they in series? No, because I mentioned if any branching comes in between, then these two will not be in series. Because a branch will come in between. Same thing, 6C and 24C, they are like this only. But there comes a branching there. Because of that, this 6C and 24C are not in series. So, we have to start eliminating the capacitors. In a sense, by finding the equivalent capacitance of those, we have to eliminate. What we are observing here? Though this is, they have given a A-like structure here. Just they have bent the conductor wire, connecting wire, they have bent it like this. Otherwise, I can redraw it as if this is a 3C. This is our 6C. In the sense, this is our second capacitor. This is our third capacitor. So, this point what we have, I have taken here. Just the vent the wire. That's all. So then what we have?
This is our sixth C. Then this is our twelfth C. This is our twenty fourth C. So this point huh? only to confuse you by giving this structure, they have bent the conductor like this. Nothing is there. They have bent it like this conductor. That's all. Otherwise, huh? if this is our first, this is our fourth capacitor, and this is our fifth capacitor. What you are observing here, if you redraw this structure, what you are observing here, these two, 3C and 6C, second and third capacitor, what I named, they are in series. As I said, by finding the equivalent capacitance, you go on reducing the number of capacitors. In a sense, I can say, go on eliminating by finding their capac equivalent capacitance, go on eliminating. So that process should start as far as away from here. Because we cannot make out whether these are in series parallel at this point. So therefore, as far as away from the, our cell, huh? our A and B are the points where the cells are connected. Away from the cell, we have to start finding the combination and reducing the number, eliminating the capacitors. So these two are in a series. The effective capacitance of Effective capacitance of these two. We will find out now. What is the effective capacitance of these two? 3C and 6C. So they are in series. So here they are in series 3C and 6C. 3C into 6C divided by 3C plus 6C. So this is 3C into 6C divided by 9C. So effective capacitance of these two here is 2C. We will write that first. So what it will be? This is a 2C. Then this is 6C. Then here it is our 12C. Then this is our 24C. This is our end. So these two, second and third, we have eliminated, and we have found the equivalent capacitance. And by finding the equivalent capacitance of these two, the two capacitors, instead of writing two capacitors, we have it as a 2C. So now, what I can say, these two capacitors, we can eliminate now. How these are? These two capacitors, they are in parallel. They are parallel. So, what I can do? 
If I come here, it is a 2C and 6C. In a parallel, it is simple. Just add them. 2C and 6C. It is 8C. Instead of those two, I am using 8C. Instead of those two, it is instead of those two, it is 8C. So then it is 12C. Twenty four C. So, instead of these two, it is eight C, it is a twelve C, and it is a twenty four C. So, this though I have written it, it is drawn it like this. What it is? It is just it is as if the three capacitors just there is a bending of the conductor, that's all. If you make it stretch, so it will be 12C, 8C. And 24C between A and B. 12C, 8C, 24C. Just if you make it straight like this. Then what is the effective capacitance of these? 1 by Cs is equal to, since they are in series, 12C, 1 by 8C. Plus 1 by 24C. This you can write it in this way. Effective capacitance of these two, these three, we can find it like this. It is a 24C. So 24C, it will be, it is a 2 plus 3 plus 1. In the sense, 6 divided by 24C is our 1 by C. Plus. So this implies 6 by 24. So 1 by C S is equal to 1 by 4C. So this implies C S is equal to 4 C. So in this way, so this is the structure A, just they have given it as the structure A. So we can rewrite it in this way. After rewriting from the extreme position of this battery, we have to start finding the equivalent, finding the eliminating the capacitor by finding the equivalent capacitance of those we go on eliminating the capacitors instead of 3C and 6C the, since they are in series the effective capacitance of these two is 2C so then this 2C and 6C they are in parallel I eliminated this 2C and 6C by finding its equivalent. Since they are in parallel, it is 8C. Okay. So then, so once again, there is a bending of the conductor. In fact, if I make straight like this, it will be in this way. All these are 12C, 8C and 24C. All they are in a series. So equivalent capacitance of this. So, some more examples, in fact, many more such examples we will solve in this way. And you to try different examples by taking different examples. Because as many as more numericals, if you solve, then only you can make out. Still, 
still complex combinations such complex combinations will come you can make out those if you go on solving more and more numericals such many examples will in the coming classes so tomorrow with other examples we will come so till then thank you